Hi, these are my neurotransmitter charms which are hung on my bracelet. The one on the left is serotonin and the one on the right is dopamine. They're the chemicals in our brain that are responsible for regulating our mood. They're the feel-good chemicals. The middle charm is a neuron or brain cell. They're to remind me of what's going on inside my brain. Emmy limits life in a way that few understand. It can totally remove any ability to do anything. I have been in a state of paralysis with my ME. It would come and go in bouts, but even when I could move, it was only a tiny amount. I couldn't do things like brush my teeth or comb my hair. That was far too active. It was purely basic function only. I'm stronger than that now, but I do still have days where all I can do is lie here and wait for the time to pass. Aside from the terror and misery that such little movement causes, there is the emotional damage done to us by not having any enjoyment in our lives. I know I've mentioned before how I went for, for so long without smiling that my facial muscles felt weak and unused. I couldn't smile. I was terrified every moment of every day. All I could do was cry. The actual Actual physical muscular action of smiling raises dopamine levels in itself and I completely went without that. It's so abnormal. I was told that I should be happy for having a roof over my head and food in my stomach. But that then reduces me to the level of a snail. As humans we need fun and laughter and interesting things to do. We need to be with friends and people we love and we need the simple enjoyments like feeling comfortable and enjoying a variety of food. It's important that we have things that make us smile. These things are necessities, not luxuries. We are damaged when forced to go without them. They're so important for our emotional and mental health, and we need to feed these parts of ourselves to be balanced and emotionally healthy. We crave enjoyment, just like we crave food. Many ME sufferers who do have a level of ability still have to spend it purely on functioning and existing. There's not much left for doing nice stuff. They will often beat themselves up and criticise themselves for overdoing it or wasting their meagre energy when it comes to enjoyable things. I know I do, but it's just us looking for what, for what we need as a human being. So that's why I hang these on my bracelet. So when I feel I've overdone it and made myself worse and I tell myself off, they remind me that it's not my fault. It's the subconscious part of me seeking out ways to boost my well-being. Living with the limitations of this illness is depressing, frustrating and fills us with grief, grief at our loss of what we used to do. No wonder we are desperate for pleasure. I can't do very much at all, certainly not feeding or the other creative things I like to do. But I can go on Pinterest sometimes and collect pictures of these things because just by looking at nice images, we can give, give our brain chemicals a little boost, which can give us a measure of well-being, though small. I've already mentioned my digital picture frame in another video. It's very little, but it's something which can help tide me over until I'm a, until I'm a little more able. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.